Um, it almost gave me an anxiety attack. <laughs> there was a couple really... We are here. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> we're at the mall because we're going to see Hereditary right now. And I'm excited because I heard it's really good by like tons of millions of people. Everybody says it's good. So, yes. AMC. Katie's going to eat first, I think, and then we're going to see the movie. I don't know. I might eat too. Who knows? Not quite hungry yet. We both ended up getting piece of pizza, ranch, and our favorite almond drinks. And we get to watch the baseball game. Kind of cool. Delicious pizza. Greasy. Greasy delicious pizza. back hereditary good shot make it. you always make it hi Nessie the movie was good it was I don't know it was what I don't know what do you want to say about it? um it almost gave me an anxiety attack <laughs> there was a couple really over the top parts that I really liked that some people would not like that much. It I was trying to walk out of the theater. Because of that one part? Yeah. There's some brutal My stomach was hurting too, so that didn't help. Yeah, there's some brutal parts in it in the movie for sure. But I don't want to say anything without did I turn no. I don't want to ruin anything and it's hard to kind of say anything. The acting was really good. It was uh like satanic and occultic. Yeah, but I didn't type, want to say that because I thought that would be spoiling it. Oh, yeah, that does give it away, huh? Yeah. Tony Collette is in it. She's the main character, the mom from The Sixth Sense. She did a really good job. Oh, that's where she was from? She looked really familiar and I couldn't place. Oh, yeah, she's in a lot of stuff. I couldn't place where. But, um, what else? What else? Um. It was good. I, if you like horror movies, definitely see it. It wasn't slow like a lot of people are saying that it's like slow and boring and it's not. It's not like The Witch. It's not like It Comes at Night. Those no, two movies. Those, I only saw It Comes at Night and that bored the hell out of me. Yeah. It, it Comes at Night and this was made by the same film company, but this was a lot better. Mm -hmm. That set of acts, this had parts through the whole thing. I was, it made me worried about what was going to happen next. And it did. It, you kind of were on the edge of your seat without being on the edge of your seat. Yeah, you were. You were wondering what was going to um, become of the people. There wasn't any stupid, unnecessary jump scares. There was actually scenes where there was really scary stuff going on. Where if you weren't watching, you wouldn't even see it. And I like that type of stuff better. Like, there was one scene where I was looking at the wrong part of the shot. And Katie's like, did you see that? And I'm like, no, I was looking at the sky part. And so I like it when they just casually do stuff. Yeah, there was a lot of casual things throughout the movie. You have to watch certain things and look in certain spots. Because they are giving away what is going on and what is happening in the movie. Because... Throughout the movie, you're a little confused as to what is going to happen or what is going on. Mm -hmm. But they do give very subtle clues and hints. If you know about the type of stuff that is happening in the movie and you know what to look for, then you can kind of figure out what's going to happen. Not exactly what's going to happen. You know where it's going to go. Like at the beginning uh -huh. where they showed the mom's bedroom and the thing on the floor, you're kind of like, oh. And I know that's what you were thinking. You remember that scene where she walked into her mom's room and there was that carving on the floor? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's where you kind of know. Like the end of the movie, you're not confused. You know exactly what happened. They explain it really well, but they they lead it. It's really story driven. It's this parts of the story come out as you're watching it, and 
a lot of times you think you know what might happen, but you're not sure, and I don't know. It was really good. The acting was good. The scenes were good. There was some good gore in it, too, which... I didn't expect to happen what happened to that little girl. Yeah, I didn't know the little, like, the little the girl. The little weird-looking girl in it. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's I all we can really... I was actually surprised about her attitude as well and her personality. Hmm. But I was more surprised to <laughs> what happened to her. Yeah, and you figure out she is where she is at the end, and you, I don't know. It was good. I'm glad we saw it in the theater. I think that was a theater movie just because of the score and the atmosphere and how it made you feel. Yeah, the score definitely created some feelings. Like an ambience. Uneasy, and, yeah. Uneasiness. But good stuff. Now we're home. It's really hot. I think it's like 105, 107 out. It's nice to be in air conditioning. Yeah, we were outside for... Only a few minutes, but I'm sweaty. I know, it's so hot, but yeah. Now we're going to relax here, then we're going to go to Katie's and relax, and then the rest of the day is just relaxing and not being hot. Mm -hmm. And you look pretty. You look pretty, you're so pretty. Thanks. So pretty and witty and gay. Ow, not gay like happy. You're not gay. You're gay for me. We got Jersey Mike's for dinner. See? Jersey Mike's. It is in very easily in my top three favorite sub places. What's your number one? I don't know. I think Jersey Mike's. Jersey Mike's is my number one. What's your number two? Mr. Or good Sense? Good Sense, number two, for sure. Good Sense makes a good sub. It's really light and. But I don't know what my three is. That weed place in there? Oh, I forgot about that place. I forgot because we haven't gone in Chiba so Hutt. long. Chiba Hut. Chiba Hut's my number two. Oh, Chiba Hut one. Jersey Mike's two. Good Sense three. And we need to go to Chiba Hut before I go to Colorado. Cause Wait, Chiba Hut's your number one? Chiba Hut's my number one. I love Chiba Hut. And we don't go that often because it's far away and she doesn't want to go and it's not fair and I cry myself to sleep at night thinking about... Not. He really does. He's, is that I do. Dramatic? That's how much I love subs and Chiba Hut. But we need to go before I leave for Colorado. Good. We'll see. Delicious. No, not we'll see. Yeah, Where did we go? See. Well, I'm going to go regardless. She may not go, but I'm going to Chiba Hut before I go to Colorado. It's happening. Good night. Almost forgot, but not really. Subs were delicious. Movie was fun. See you guys tomorrow. Good night. 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 Good night, night.